Welcome to this video series where we're going to walk you through setting up your LMN to talk to your QuickBooks so that the two of them can be in sync and you can export and import information between each other. But before we get started with how to do it, let's just take a quick couple of minutes here to understand the big picture. So first of all, why are we doing this? Well, obviously, we're going to import and export information from LMN to make your life easier. That includes customer information, which we can either push to QuickBooks or you can import your customers into LMN if you're just getting started. Same goes for job sites. Now, LMN will also push estimates that you build in LMN, timesheets that are logged in LMN, and invoices that are created in LMN into your QuickBooks. And that's going to save you all kinds of time and data entry. Saving time means instead of spending time entering data, you can spend better time planning, following up with your customers, preparing for jobs, all the things that are actually going to drive meaningful business improvement. And by saving data entry, we can make sure that the information goes into QuickBooks with less risk of error. The more times humans touch data, keyboards, whatever, the more likely it is we might make a mistake. This will eliminate the opportunity for a lot of those mistakes. And finally, as we go through this process, we're going to try to help you set up QuickBooks for more than your taxes. Most accountants know business taxes and they know end of year reporting. And that's kind of how they set up the books. Most accountants haven't run a landscape company or any kind of contracting company. And most uh, business owners can't really instruct their accountant on the best way to set up QuickBooks or what they need from a business management perspective because they've never really had accounting explained to them in a way that makes sense for business management. So as we go through this process, we're going to try to help you set your QuickBooks up for more than just taxes of render or end of year reporting. It'll be to help you get meaningful information about your jobs, about your divisions, and about your company so that you can make better decisions when running your business based on the actual financial metrics in your company. Now, the other question that comes up often is, well, why don't we just do all our job costing in LMN? Well, first of all, that would mean you'd have to enter all your information in LMN, including all your vendor bills and all that kind of stuff. A lot of your information you are going to enter in LMN, but if you had to add in all your vendor bills and other things that would go in accounting, like overhead expenses that don't really have anything to do with LMN, you'd end up with all kinds of double entry. You'd have to enter it in QuickBooks because you need QuickBooks for accounting, but you'd also have to element, enter it in LMN for job costing. And when you have that kind of double entry, you get all kinds of opportunities for mistakes, uh, wasted work, wasted hours, and uh, errors where something gets changed in one and not the other. The point of doing your job costing and accounting is that your accounting has all your company financial information. LMN's going to feed that so that you've got one for your, your accounting, your job costing information. And it's going to be accurate because it's the same information that's coming out of your accounting. And QuickBooks does do job costing and it does it well. It's just that most companies and most accountants haven't set it up to do it. Uh, job costing wasn't a priority when accounting got set up. And so here you are, however many years later, and a, a QuickBooks doesn't do job costing, but it can do job costing if you set it up correctly. And we'll try to help you do that. Now, our recommendation is as you're watching these videos, watch all the videos all the way through, then go back and set up your QuickBooks. You can always watch these videos again as you're setting it up. But if you watch the videos first, all the way to the end, you'll see how things get set up and you'll see how it comes out at the end result. And then you can make better decisions when you're setting up your QuickBooks, knowing how things need to get set up and how they're going to come out at the end. If you try to set it up as you go, the first time you watch the videos, you may get to the end of the process and decide, oh, that's not how we want it. We want it set up a little differently. Go back. Then you're going to have to do the setup again. Recommend that you watch all the videos from start to finish. Then you can circle back around as you're setting up and watch them one at a time and make sure you set them up the way you want them set up. And of course, if you have any questions, be sure to sign on to our live chat. You can go to goelmn.com slash help or email us at advice at goelmn.com and we'll be happy to help you get this started.